The horns are going to be made from three inch pieces of half inch by one inch flat bar. And I've taken a few minutes at the bandsaw to cut the notches that I need to make it fit around the beam. I have a total of 16 of these horns that I need to weld on three separate beams so I decided it was best to use a setup jig to make sure that everything winds up square and evenly spaced. The jig is just a one inch bar that's welded to a piece of flat bar. The flat bar can be any size but the spacer needs to be welded directly in the middle of that flat bar and it has to be parallel to the sides. Once the horns get clamped to the spacer bar the whole thing just fits over the beam and gets clamped into place. The plate is then going to be used to square up the horns so as long as I have the same measurement from the top everything is going to line up. Once I have the jig clamped in place I'll fine tune the position of the horns on the beam and then I'll double check to make sure that I haven't moved anything and I'll start welding. I'll tack the first two horns in place and then I'll flip the jig around and set it up for the other side of the beam. And then it's just a matter of repeating this process on all the other beams and welding everything in place. This is one of the workstation beams that I'm going to be using anytime I need a portable unit somewhere. This is the workstation beam that I'm going to be adding to my anvil base. And this is a wall bracket for a small grinder that I use in the shop for sharpening drill bits and chisels. But this grinder also gets used when I teach classes so now I just need to take it off the wall and plug it into another workstation when I need to do that.